Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. No idea when the last time I vlogged was. I actually do know when the last time I vlogged was, but I feel like they just never ended up being a vlog. I feel like I vlogged for like half a day and then I didn't do anything with the footage. So yeah, I'm home. I have just been doing work all day. It's raining out, gross, but tomorrow I have I'm going to an event with Dev and Lucy, and then on Friday I'm going to LA for a really exciting shoot that I'm doing for Aritzia. Really random, but super fun. Super grateful to get this opportunity. I literally was not expecting it whatsoever, but it's really cool. So it's like a little full circle moment. I was never like an Aritzia girl growing up, but like I did. Like, I'm Canadian, so I'm from Toronto, and Aritzia is a Canadian brand, I believe. Pretty sure. And so Aritzia was, like, this pop, such a popular store, and no one knew about it in the States, so like, when I moved here, and then they slowly started getting, like, popular here. Cool. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm watching some YouTube videos, and I'm trying to upload a YouTube video right now. I'm uploading an unboxing video, but I'm trying to, like add links so don't mind me so i'm gonna do that actually right now and then i'll come talk to you guys update i don't even have an update basically i'm gonna have a lot more space around here in the next couple weeks so like i'll be able to film a lot more so let me know what you guys want to see i know i ask i literally say this every single day i mean every single video it's really pathetic I promise I'm really trying guys like I just feel like I'm like can't catch a break like and I think that's just being an adult and like not having everything handed to you like it's like when you're an adult and you actually have to work really fucking hard to like live and like be responsible and be healthy and have a balanced lifestyle it's like I can't I can't get a break like, I feel like I'm. there's always something I should be doing and need to do. And, like, I go to bed thinking, I didn't do half the things I was supposed to do today. And it stresses me out. Living in New York, everything's so fucking expensive. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, rent right now is, like, I, I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. And then, I don't know. Like, obviously, I need to, like, budget more and, like, be, I spend a lot of money when I don't need to be. I don't know. I don't want to say I've been in a slump. I don't think I have. I think mentally I've just been like so all over the place. <sighs> but I mean, my life is great. I love, like I have the most amazing life. I should never complain about it. But, you know, we all go through shit. It's like just like daily, like little things that are hard. You know? Or maybe it's just me. But I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling we're all like like this sometimes or all the time which is okay but i find working out has been really helpful luckily i have a gym in my building so i've been going upstairs to the gym and like working out every morning and it's sweating and i feel like it actually really helps i say like i have been doing that but i've just done that the last two days <laughs> i'm so on and off with working out it's actually like <laughs> me sitting here in my leggings being like I'm a fitness babe, but I'm not. I'm really not. I'm really not. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't feel bad if you don't work out. Because I barely do. I hope you guys really want these links because I'm linking everything for you guys in this unboxing video. I have no idea if people actually give a shit about links or not. But it is what it is. I'm excited to go to LA even though I'm literally only going for like two days. I mean, maybe I'll extend, but probably not. I don't really have a lot of friends there. So I can't really imagine me like being like, I want to stay. But I'm excited to go to Erwan. That's for sure. I love that place. I just feel so rich going in there. You know what I mean? You walk into Erwan and you're like... <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> and then what else do I want to do? I want to go for a hike. I guess I'll go for a hike by myself. I don't know if that's weird or whatever. Okay, what the heck? And I want to go to the flea market on Sunday. And those are the three things I want to do while I'm there. 
I'm gonna be working, so like I'm probably taking it chill. Taking it chill. Tomorrow, yeah, I'm going to an event. I need to get my nails done for the shoot that I'm doing. Yeah. So today's gonna be chill vibes. I really want to attempt to make dinner tonight and be a good girlfriend, but I'm really like just like not a great cook. But I'm in the mood to like go to Whole Foods, get my ingredients, like make it a little thing, and make dinner. But the question is, what do I make? I was thinking of making like crispy rice with like tuna on it, but I don't know if Whole Foods sells fresh tuna. Do they? Do they? Does someone know? That's really gonna help me. But that was my idea, but I don't really think that's like enough for like dinner. So. I don't really know, man. I'm just, like, not creative in the kitchen. Like, it, it doesn't just, like, come to mind what I should make. You know what I mean? So, that's the tea. Anyway, I've been, like, blabbering for, like, ten minutes now, so. These leggings are from 437, and I'm wearing the matching top. And they're really good and comfy. I would really highly recommend Sporting Canadian businesses. Oh, guys, I'm 22. My birthday just happened last week. Not that I care about my birthday, but now I'm 22. Just so you all know, 22. I know, everyone thinks I'm younger, but I'm 22. Also, guys, I just wanted to show you, um, Set Active literally sent a whole polaroid camera like isn't that fucking crazy with their new loungewear which is super cute I highly recommend anyways i found this girl on tiktok and she has like so many good recipes i think i want to make this one rice paper dumplings so i'm going to go to whole foods and see if they have the ingredients this also looks really good literally everything looks good zucchini fritters so yeah and she also wait she has this is her cooking with a aya um wait where is it where is it she has the crispy tuna rice recipe that i want to make so we're gonna try that okay i was just about to leave but i need to open these packages and take the trash out so i figured let's just unbox these now first thing i know is the depop order that i made for sure cute little olive top this little shrug grommet belt simple black tank top. I don't know if it's going to focus. It's cute. Tube top. Really good for a tan. Literally don't need any of this. And then this black long sleeve like off the shoulder top with mesh sleeves. And then lastly this really cute little summer orange dress i have a feeling this is gonna look really bad on it looks really boxy but it is what it is next another order i made this would be the new face yes tiktok influenced me i spent a ridiculous amount of money on this so this better work but basically it's supposed to tone your face so we'll see maybe i'll do a tester tonight next is a package from glow recipe i love glow recipe i use their products in the morning and at night um they don't bring up my skin at all so i love that so it comes with two little hair pins which is nice so this is the watermelon glow niacinamide. I use this every single morning. And then what else is in here? This is their 
Plump Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Cream. I've used this too. I really like that. I like how these are mini so I can bring them on the plane. And then this is their Avocado Recovery Serum. I've never tried this. I'm excited. I love their packaging and everything. I just love the recipe so much. Definitely a fave. This is from Super Much Mouth Spray that gives you good vibrations. I'm not really sure. Daily Chill Mouth Spray. Daily Immunity Mouth Spray. Daily Energy Mouth Spray. I think Luca will be into these. I think those are super cool. Couple more. This is from this uh, small business called, I don't know how to say it, something Lily. Um, and she makes cute little mesh tops. So she sent me one of those. Oh, it's super cute. So it's just this like little mushroom mesh top with lettuce leaf hem. Very cute. Thank you so much. Okay, this package is all wrapped. I don't know where it's from. This is from Nordstrom because I'm working with Nordstrom Beauty. And so I picked up a bunch of my favorite products. It's a little sneak peek, but these are some of my favorite skincares. So I got to stock up. I'm super happy. Yeah. All right, last package. This is from a PR company called MVPR. And they sent, oh my God, some really cute pieces from this brand called Win Hamlin. Really cool, I'd never heard of this um, designer, but it's kind of hard to show, but this like black top with all this detailing, with the buttons, so cool. And then this top, which is kind of like structured and it's white and very elegant. Really beautiful pieces. They had a lot of really cute stuff, so if you are interested in a new designer, check them out. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. I'm a little scared because I have a feeling they're not gonna have what I need. Like I wanna get rice paper and stuff, but I think I know for a fact that they don't have that because I've looked for it before. But hopefully they'd have it, I don't know. I don't know. If they don't have it, I don't know what I'm making. That's my problem, so. What's else to do is right now I don't like. Hello everyone. So I'm currently packing for LA. I am trying to just bring this carry on from Horizon Studios, this bag, and then a backpack. I'm literally going for three days, but I'm planning on shooting a lot of content. So I'm packing that. I'm planning on reading the whole plane ride because it's like five, six hours. And so I brought a bunch of books. I can show you guys if you're interested. This is the book I'm reading right now. It's called Bunny. It's like, I don't know, I, a lot of people replied to my story saying they hated it. By the way, I had to get my nails done today for the shoot. And I think I fucked it up. Like, I don't, it's not focusing. I don't think I did the right thing. I think my nails are too short for like French tips and it looks horrible <laughs> in my opinion, but that's what they wanted. Anyway, um, Bunny, apparently you guys hate it. It's getting really weird. Like it, oh my god, there's like literally a shell on the floor and it scared me. I thought it was a cockroach. It's getting really strange and like I don't really understand what's going on. It's like it, we're getting a little like magical and mythical and all that kind of weirdness so yeah i have no idea really where this book is going but i'm almost done it's a pretty easy read so i'm gonna finish that one for sure on the plane then i bought this a while ago joan didion um the year of magical thinking obviously this is extremely raved about um so i needed to read and then the last one i actually bought this like over a year ago during like quarantine and I never read it so I'm gonna read it too because it's also quite small 
and it looks like an easy read. It's called High Fidelity. So yeah, those are the three books I'm reading. I also just bought a big SD card because I'm in a blog. What is it called? My SD cards always run out. It's super annoying. But yeah, I pretty much know what I'm packing. I'm just now putting it away. Oh, this is a lot of film because I want to take a lot of film photos. And this bag I got on ThreadUp, it's like vintage DKNY, I think. And it's so freaking cute. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. I am getting dinner with Lucy and Dev. Oh, I also just got a new little little card holder because I only have a big wallet. And I thought, oh my god, nothing focuses. This camera's kind of whack. There we go. Nothing really, like, usually I just need to carry around my ID and my, like, credit card or debit card. So I thought this would be good because I don't have anything small like that. And I also got, wanted you guys to meet, I don't know what her name is yet. I've been calling her May May from the new, like, Disney movie or Dumpling. But I don't really know. I don't think either of those really fit. I don't know what to name her. Toast? Just, like is toast like it works so well and it's just like perfect for toast but i don't know what to name her like i feel like her name could be like cupcake or something because she's so like big and sweet like look how cute she is she could never do no wrong you know but i don't know what to name her so if you guys have any suggestions let me know because i've had her for like a couple weeks now and the name isn't really sticking for me so i don't know Anyway, I'm gonna keep packing and I'll see you guys at dinner. Okay, so I'm trying to decide if I want to wear these knee-high, I just covered them, knee-high boots or my Adidas, but I think the vibe is more chill today, so I think I might wear my Adidas, even though I think the boots look really cute with it. Um, the skirt I got, you can't really see it well, <laughs> but I got it in Paris. It's purple, has like a bunch of ruching, this bag. Luca got me for my birthday. Um, it's Kiko. Very cute. This top I got on Depop. It's by the brand Cope Copine. I think that's how you say it. And then this jacket is St. Woods. So, yes. Elegant, chic. Ooh la la. But I think I'm going to put on my superstars because I don't know if boots are the vibe. And I'm not really sure about my makeup, but um, yeah, I'm gonna leave. Bye. Hi, vlog. I'm at Dev's apartment. I love this mirror. It's so it's big. Nice, right? um, and this is the first time I've seen it all decorated. Look how cute. I'm exposing your apartment. Oh my god, it's fine. <laughs> There's Dev. There we go. Okay, I was having trouble focusing this camera. Now we're back in business. So, um, so we're gonna try and go to this restaurant called Peasant, which I love, but it's hard to get a seat there. But they have like a little basement area that they call their wine cellar or whatever, and they don't take reservations down there. So, hopefully, they have some room for us. Lip routine, lip routine check, makeup by Mario. Vlog. Dev has a new love. Oh wait, Dev doesn't talk about her personal life I don't on talk YouTube. About her personal life. So like, you guys get the inside scoop, but that's all you get. <laughs> that's the inside scoop for now, but you won't hear anymore. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else coming from me. The exclusive scoop on my channel. <laughs> yeah, honestly. If you watch Ruby's videos, you'll know. <laughs> TikToks at Dev's. Behind the scenes. Oh. Take off her shoes. You do cuss a little. Do you? Also, What's yeah. your favorite curse word? Probably fuck. Probably fuck. Oh, bro. Probably fuck. Okay. I thought you were all going to come in, but you didn't. I need to talk. Oh, I actually do cuss. Oh, I actually do cuss a little. Do you? Also, yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably fuck. Probably fuck. Probably fuck. I can't do it. I actually do cuss a little. Just, like, Lucy, is growling. Lucy, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. You're here. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been on the vlog in forever. <laughs>
Hey guys, I just got home. I didn't just get home, I got home like a while ago. But I've just been like cleaning up the house because obviously I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't want to leave it messy and dirty. Um, but I'm just finishing packing. I'm collecting everything I want in my tote bag on the plane. I'm not bringing my um, laptop because I'm really not going to need it that much. So I'm just bringing my iPad. And then I'm bringing some cameras because I want to shoot a lot of content of all my liquids in a bag because normally I don't really have trouble with not putting them in a plastic bag. I never really do it. But then when I was in Spain recently, they gave me such a hard time. It was so annoying. So I'm putting them all in a plastic bag now. Um, I showed you guys this. But I should probably bring my full wallet. I don't really know what's in there. I have a problem. My passport is going to expire really soon. Like less than five months. And I need to get it renewed. Like ASAP. But it's so hard because I'm not in Canada, obviously. But whatever. Anywho. What's this? And then I'm bringing this camera to vlog. And then I'm bringing my contacts film camera. So many cameras. I'm going to put this in my uh, tote bag though. Oh, I'm going to take this out. Oh, fuck. I just realized I left packages outside my door.